Hello citizens, and welcome to my deep dive on the updated mining mechanics and refineries. Before I get into the video, I'll be working on a mining and refining tutorial in the coming days, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Now, let me start from the ground up, and I mean that literally. One of the major changes to the existing mechanics is a balance pass on mineable rocks. First of all, the contents of all rocks changed. Rocks tend to contain more ore and more valuable ores are more common than before. Along with that, less valuable ores improve stability, which makes them useful when mining rocks with high concentrations of valuable ore, which tend to be unstable. The second change was to the mining lasers themselves. They were balanced to reduce the extreme differences between some of them. Arguably, the helix is not the best option anymore, and it looks like the lancet laser is going to take its place. However, especially mole owners might want to look into mixing up their laser loadouts. The major part of this change was that the stock laser was made a little bit more powerful, which actually makes it usable for more valuable rocks. It does take some skill, but it's good enough to start out. The third change was to the mining consumables. Now, I'm not a fan of the mining consumables as they are, but I believe the mechanic is going to evolve in the future. The main change here was the increase of the number of charges from 3 to 5, along with some property changes, and addition of new effects to some of them. A major disappointment of all these changes for me was that we didn't get new lasers for the Grey Cat Rock, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get them in the future. However, overall, these changes make early mining expeditions a lot easier, which makes mining with rented ships a more viable option. Now, let's move on to the big update, refineries. A few of the major stations across Stanton have received a refinery deck. Refineries allow players to convert their raw ore into processed resources. This takes time and requires the player to pay a fee. The duration, price and yield of the refining process depend on several factors. Depending on how busy the refinery is at the moment, the player may be asked to pay extra money to have their materials processed, or they can choose to wait until the refinery clears up. The main factor affecting all three components is the selection of the refining method. These range widely in price, duration and yield, but the general idea is that the methods with more yield either cost more or take longer. Here is a table representing these values as I pulled them from the game files. From experimenting so far I have found out that the careful methods have yielded almost 100% of the raw amount. The second factor affecting the yield is the specialization of the refinery. All refineries are good and bad at different things. Along with knowledge of where to find what ore, this should guide your decision on where to mine. You can also decide which of the ores in your cargo hold should be refined. However, be careful because all the ore that is not refined will be lost. I believe this is intended, but I don't quite understand why. Finally, once your refining job is created, it will run even while you're logged out. You can also create multiple jobs at one or multiple refineries. Once completed, you will get a notification on your HUD and the refined materials will be waiting for you to pick them up. Now, here comes the risky part of refining. You have to load your processed materials on a cargo ship and fly them to a landing zone to sell them. This exposes you to game and server crashes and piracy. However, the final sale price can be quite high. And here comes the difficult balancing act for CIG. They need to make refining profitable enough for miners to go through those extra steps, but at the same time they need to make mining more risky and they need to make sure that selling unrefined ore is still profitable as well. Not all miners have cargo ships, which might force them to buy or rent one, which creates another expense that needs to be covered by the income. Right now it seems that while refined materials are more valuable than raw ore in 3.11, unrefined ore in 3.12 seems to be cheaper. And this might discourage some people without a cargo ship from trying out refining, and that's not going to change unless another balance pass happens, or we're allowed to transfer cargo to other players. At the end of the day, refining is a great addition to the mining gameplay chain. However, it is a very difficult balancing act for CIG, and I have no doubt that in the future we will receive a balance pass for the final prices and the refining process. Now, I keep forgetting to mention this, but my joint Discord server with Hangar Ready, link in description, is now open, so feel free to hop on there to discuss all things Star Citizen and be up to date on my content and work in progress. Also, if you would like a printed version of what was said here along with a handy table of refining methods, it is going to come out in the January issue of the Cosmonaut magazine. As always, things mentioned here are my opinion and you're entitled to have your own. If you feel like I missed something, feel free to add it in the comments. With that being said, thank you for watching, fly safe, go do some mining, and I will see you in the verse.